Hey seamstress, welcome back to my channel. Let me show you how I made this cute skirt with a zipper in the back. Um, I This is the pattern that I'm using and then this is the fabric that I'm using that I got from Joann's. Um, what I'm cutting out first is going to be the front and the front side of the skirt. We're only going to cut one of each and nothing is on a fold so I'm just going ahead and cutting those pieces out first. The skirt does have a little split in the front so that's why there is two different pieces for the front and the front side. I did end up cutting this skirt a little bit shorter than the pattern just to fit my aesthetic a little bit more. But I did that after I put all the parts together and I actually saw the length. So I did it right before I hemmed it. And then... And then after I did that, I went ahead and cut out my back pieces. Yeah, um, it was two back pieces on separate sides. And this fabric is a little, I don't know if like people have really sensitive skin, so it is kind of wool-like. And it, some people would see it as itchy fabric. It didn't really bother me. But you could put a lining with it as well just to go ahead and make it a little bit more comfortable. And then also it came with a waistband. So I cut out the waistband part and I just made sure that I measured it correctly. And then also that it would fit my waist. And then the first thing that I'm going to get ready to sew together is the front and the front side. So I'm just seeing how it's going to fit. And then I'm also going to remember where it's supposed to, right there, is where the split is going to be. So I just made sure to mark that so I didn't sew down as far in menorah to stop my clips at. So I'm just going to go ahead and clip my ends together. And the pattern did come with a one and a half inch seam allowance. So I am going to make sure to do that when I sew it down. And then I'm just going here ahead and getting my machine set up threading my bobbin and letting that get all winded up this is actually like my favorite part i do just like watching it get set up if you guys want a video on how i actually set up my machine or how to set up your machine for beginners leave a heart in the comments so that way i know exactly what you looking for and i got y'all and then after that i just go ahead and thread my needle and then I go ahead and sew the front side and the front together. I do a zigzag stitch all the way down, making sure to back stitch at the beginning just to secure those stitches. And then I'm being sure to make sure that I'm paying attention to where I left that pin at, making sure that I don't sew over it because I do want to make sure that I have my split and I just back stitch right there as well, just to make sure it's secure. And this is what it looked like once I sewed that part together. And now with front side facing, I'm going to go ahead and clip both sides of the backs to the both sides of the skirt. Just to go ahead and get that lined up again. It did come with a one and a half inch seam allowance. So I'm just going to clip the ends and then line that up on my sewing machine. Right here, I'm just making sure that it's going to look okay when I add the zipper. Everything's going to look lined up. Sewing is definitely something that gives you a delayed gratification. And just because I didn't want to waste too much time on this, I just wanted to go ahead and make sure that it looked de decent. Or was going to look decent. But this is what it looks like once I've sewed all my sides together. I'm just going ahead and pinning where my split is going to be. <clears throat> so that way I can hem that down and I just did a straight stitch with this with all of the attaching of the other sides I did do a zigzag stitch and that's just how it looks I really do love this fabric for like the holidays and this is the zipper that I'm going to be attaching so the zipper comes 
when you're attaching your zipper you want to go ahead and unzip it and you want to iron right near the teeth so that the teeth are laying straight up and it's gonna have a little line next to it I'll show you it's gonna show you guys but you just want to iron right next to it to where the zipper is laying straight up so that way you can get the needle as close to the zipper when you're sewing it down that was a lot but yeah you want to get the needle as close to the zipper as you can when you're sewing it down so I'm just going ahead and trying to iron it without melting anything. So as you can see, this is what it looks like once I've actually ironed it. And then this is the teeth is what I'm pointing at here. And then you want that line. That's the line. And that's the line you want to follow when you're sewing down your zipper. So to actually attach the zipper from your to your skirt you're going to go ahead and unzip the zipper all the way and lay the zipper on the skirt right sides facing and the side closest to the edge is the side that you're going to go ahead and pin down and as you can see when I turned it to the side you can already see that the zipper was going missing and this is the footer that you're going to use on your machine you're just going to switch it out it doesn't have the second side which makes it easier to get closer to the teeth and then you're just going to follow that line all the way down and I did a straight stitch all the way down because I, I didn't want it to zigzag into the where well, you're supposed to but still you just don't want it to zigzag into the needles and I make sure to back stitch and I always make sure that I can zip up the zipper before I go on to the other side so I got one side attached and now I'm going to go ahead and do at the other side I went ahead and marked where the other side stops so I know where to stop this one at so for the other side you're going to turn your skirt inside out and make sure you have right side facings and you're going to fold the edge a half an inch seam allowance and then you're going to go ahead and pin down your zipper to where your stop is and you do just want to turn it inside out and make sure that it lines up i'm using an invisible zipper so when i sew it down it should disappear so now i'm just making sure that everything is going to go smoothly cutting out any extra hairs and then just repinning it because usually the pin comes out when i move it around too much and i'm just also making sure that i'm paying attention to where i'm supposed to stop at and then i just go ahead and sew it like i did the other side and sewing it all the way down just getting any of the extras this fabric was very free so i just had to make sure i kept getting any of the extra hairs out of the way and i was so happy about this stitch like look it went up perfectly it looked so good i was showing it to people <laughs> and then after you do that you just want to clip up where um the loose end of the back basically where your zipper stops you want to go ahead and clip that down so you can zigzag stitch that together and then after that we just want to go ahead and hem her up and i also went ahead and folded in the bottom of the skirt as well so i can just hem that up after i hem up the back of the skirt and that's what i'm just going ahead and doing now and a headband to go along with it so I'm just going to show you guys how I styled it as well but this is how the skirt itself came out I had posted it on my Instagram story but it came out so cute and then here I am actually want to style it this is the skirt I was just showing y'all that I really did a zipper um I did make straps to go into the corset top but because I had to put it on myself I just used my yarn to be able to pull it as long as I needed to I got this necklace from Amazon the bracelet was coach yeah let's not talk about my hair and then I just wanted to go ahead and put this headband on okay gossip girl Blair like yeah I'm gonna go and talk about everybody anyway 
but this was so cute to me and then I didn't really know how else I want to style it and then I remember all the girlies on Instagram is always putting tights on their stuff and I was like boom I got some black tights so I went ahead and threw them on it it, it was giving and then I put on the jacket and then y'all I'm in Florida so I, I was really really taking it there let's just say that um this was a Calvin Klein coat that my brother had got me for my birthday last year it's really cute but I, I have nowhere to wear it anyway and then yeah of course Laura Bay if you ain't got you a care copy of pair one two three pair anyway thank you guys for watching my video don't forget to like subscribe and comment for more content